Take a seat. They believe change is at the door, that equality is within their grasp. We'll probably start in about five minutes. But no longer will they wait for it to happen. We want to start making an impact. Tens of thousands agree are now card-carrying members of the new Women's Equality Party. Start doing some politics. A grassroots move to rewrite, among other things, women's place in British politics. I don't think women are staying out of politics. I think women are being kept out of politics. We want to fix that uh, by having a system of very short-term quotas. The tactics may be different, but in the land of the suffragettes, there seems to be a renewed push to light a fire under the political status quo. And yet only a quarter of candidates in last May's election were women. Still, as Canada sees its first deliberately balanced cabinet, there are some promising, if more organic, changes here. Women make up 29% of MPs now, up from 23. Could British boardrooms have lessons on tactics for change in politics? British-Canadian Brenda Trenodin thinks so. 30% is a really symbolic number. Quotas, she says, aren't the answer. She sells CEOs on the business case of women's equity. If I lived back then, I'm sure I would have been a suffragette. And I think they had to do what they did then. But I think now, you know, we do need to just sit around the table together and, and work together. The headline here goes beyond the actions of one prime minister, CEO, that we want to hear your ideas or political party. Long alienated by business as usual, this is one party that just wants to be put out of business. Nala Ayed, CBC News, London.